Hi guys, welcome to the channel and to the energy update for my friends Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So let's take a look at your no contact situation. Current energies for your person, the lovers in reverse and the empress in reverse. This person is not in a good place at the moment, guys. Their self-confidence is at a low point. The empress in reverse can describe someone that doesn't know how to take care of themselves. They can struggle with their mojo. You know, there can be a lot of excesses in the life of this person, excesses that basically do not allow this person to be balanced enough to show up in a positive way, not only in a romantic connection, but also in the interactions of their everyday life. So this is something that maybe has already worked against the connection that you shared with this person, but now this factor can still be at play in the life of this individual. The lovers in reverse can describe someone that can struggle to get in touch with their heart. If we think about the lovers as a heart overhead decision, this person gave a lot of importance to the connection with you, but it seems that they have been overwhelmed by it. They couldn't handle the connection in a positive way, um, especially if the connection was powerful between the two of you. Uh, if we think about the sexual side, this person was swept away by it, but they couldn't find a way to bring out the best in favor of the connection. And now, because of that, the word in reverse from the bottom of the deck can describe a cycle that is almost over, but not yet. And this person can struggle with the idea to let go of the connection with you, but do they have what it takes to show up in a different way so that you can see them kind of in a brand new fashion that can justify the thought in favor of a reconciliation. This is not sad, guys, because in the what's holding them back position, we got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the Queen of Wands in reverse as well. So I want to repeat myself, this person doesn't have their mojo quite right at the moment, they can struggle with that a lot. They cannot get in touch with their intuition. The Queen of Wands as the Black Cat as her best friend. It can be a powerful source of wisdom. And this person, this person doesn't know what they truly want, despite the fact that they may desire to reconnect with you. They do not know how to handle the interactions of the everyday life because they can struggle with the ability to find agreements. The Queen of Pentacles is a remarkable energy and it can resonate quite a lot with the Empress if we think about an individual that is willing to find common grounds in order to, you know, share agreements that can be extremely productive. But to see these energies in reverse, they are not in favor of this person. And we can even Think about someone that can struggle with the understanding in favor of the opportunity to implement their feminine side in their life. It's like this person doesn't have any gentle touch. They cannot picture in their mind the willingness to put themselves in another person's shoes in order to imagine what type of agreement can be reached in favor of, let's say, a romantic connection. This person can also hesitate quite a lot because they can think that you are not interested in the opportunity to find a new agreement with them. At the same time, we can say that this individual doesn't have a talent when it comes to the ability to present themselves in a way that can encourage another person to put effort in favor of a connection so that agreements can be found positively. The Queen of Wands can also be an idea of this person because they can think that you are not interested anymore in the opportunity to rekindle the passionate side of the connection that you have shared for quite some time. So the idea that the cycle is almost over, is creeping in the mind of this person, they can try to fight it, they can try to procrastinate the completion that the world can represent, 
But at the same time, guys, if we think about the word as an energy about lessons, this person didn't learn their lessons about the connection with you. And they can struggle with the overall understanding about what can be necessary from them to be more successful in a connection with you, but speaking in general, even in the personal interactions of their everyday life. So we have more than a couple of issues when it comes to this person at this stage of the journey. Will they reach out? Six of Cups, Wheel of Fortune. Guys, they can take some time. Wheel of Fortune, an energy that cannot be rushed. By the way, the Wheel of Fortune and the World together, two major energies about life cycles and life chapters. Time is ticking for this connection. It can be, yes, a no contact situation, but it almost feel like a connection on the verge of its completion. This person can have a lot of memories when it comes to the positive times that the two of you shared together because the Six of Cups finds roots in the past as an energy. It is my favorite card in the deck, all about the purest of arts. I wouldn't say that this person can be a bad human being, you know. They just struggle with this particular connection and maybe romantic relationships in their life. It's like they are not able to show up properly. I also want to throw in a real quick the potential scenario that can see this person as the parent of a kid. So maybe you had a child together. The Six of Cups can be the link that can still allow this person to play a role even in your life because of a kid, of course, and the needs that can be involved in the situation. But guys, time is almost up. The Wheel of Fortune is an energy that takes its own time. It's a divine process. It cannot be rushed. But the more this person hesitates to express, let's say, an interest in favor of the opportunity to find a different agreement with you, the more the connection can go cold. This person can struggle a lot to get their mojo back. Without it, they do not stand a chance with you simply because of the fact that you saw in first person, basically, why the connection didn't work and why this person was not able to bring out the best in favor of the connection that you tried to manifest positively, but unfortunately couldn't, you know? And this is something that can be a decisive factor if this person finds the courage, I would say, to reach out. But if I have to call it, guys, it seems that they can stay quiet for a while. So, guys, I hope that I made myself clear and this was helpful somehow, some way. If you want to comment, like, and subscribe, it will help our channel to grow. So thank you. And until next time, I wish you the best. Take very good care of you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.